How you doing out there, all you back cave dwellers? The unknown bass player coming at you. I said in one of my videos I was trying to make a copy of that Fender acoustic guitar. I showed you this body of my buddies. The headstock, standard headstock. So the one I'm putting on is not going to use the standard neck. And that body that I just showed you, this is the type of neck that would have been used. That piece there would fit down in. More than tennis, I think. Martin. What I'm going to use is electric and it's flat. So I got to figure a way to glue it on there. Well, as you can see, can't possibly glue it on there like that. So I showed you I had to make a router template, route it out. That's what I've done. Routed that out. Neck fits down in there perfectly. Snug. Now I'm worried about the support. Is that going to be enough, that little bit right there, to support it? So what I come up with is I made this filler. And I'm going to take this filler and right here or the tenant joint of the neck, acoustic neck would have fit. I'm going to put this in here. Like so. And then I'll glue it fast and that'll be just as solid as the regular neck. So then I'm worried about it coming forward, tilting this way. So. What I done, I made this support for it. Right where that block is at, right here, you can see it, the difference, the space. I was just worried that there wasn't enough there to support it when it was pulling. So I made this, it's got the same taper on it. We'll go in here, it'll slide in there like so. slide over like that and that'll give me another three-quarter inch stock on the original block which will support this piece when I glue to it now glue and clamp that and that's what I'm going to try to do now I'll get this set up and show you what I'm going to do with it all right I'm ready to glue this together Here's the piece of stock I made, the filler. I'm going to put glue all the way around it. Both sides, on the sides. Make sure I get it covered up good. You see there's a lot of glue on it. And I'm going to shove that right down in that slot. Take some tissue here. Keep the glue cleaned up. And that's down in there good and tight. I got some holes drilled to line the neck. Make sure I can get it back in the right spot. Now here's the support I made for the headstock. Got it marked. This is the front of this is the front of it, top of it. 
So I'm gonna put glue all over this. Now I want to glue to the headstock that's already there, that piece, so I'm going to put some on the top here. Because that was glue onto this now. And then this will glue onto the back, just like one of the braces. It'll give it extra support. This will go this side out. You put back into here like this. Slid over into the spot. Clean up the next glue. Had to run to get a bottle of water. So I can clean this excess glue up. Didn't make a big mess. Get that all wiped up. Make a little neater. Okay. Now since it's got a clamp here on the front to seal this and the piece in here goes against the head sock, I'm just going to take this clamp and it will run the whole length of that. Which will then push, push this in, which will make it stick. You have to put a little pressure on it to make sure the glue gets set in there right. So that's pretty good. Now I think I'm going to put another clamp on it to make sure the top of it seals. This time I'll turn it the other way. Because if any glue comes out this plastic now, it won't stick to it. And I'll put that right here. Where it's pushing in those pieces against that shim I put in there. Now when that all dries up, that should be one solid piece and be as strong as any, any one piece one. I've often thought the glue joint was the strongest part of the board once you do that. I'm sure everybody's got a different opinion on that. But with that being put in there, then it's going to look like this. Now I was going to make us a flat top, but I, I decided to make it an arch top and use some curved braces on it. I actually have some that I purchased from Grizzly when they were selling stuff. So I'll get to that next and show you how, how I lay this out, how I'm going to put the sound hole in here. I got a video about the top where I routed it out. Not sure when I'll post it. <laughs> Try to follow it in some kind of an order. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.